When a Marine loses his hat while standing guard, he has to leave it behind. But when President Trump went to pick it up, the Marine was left stunned. What happened next surprised everyone and quickly went viral. A sudden gust of wind appeared out of nowhere. Private Miller stood rigidly with his partner, trying to keep his composure. The president was getting closer with each step, and this was the moment Miller had always dreamed about. The wind hit him so abruptly that he didn't have time to prepare. In an instant, his hat whisked off his head and began to roll away. What was he supposed to do? He couldn't move, and he didn't anticipate what was coming next. Private Miller was terrified. How has his long-awaited moment of glory turned into a disaster? What would his father think? He wanted to close his eyes and shut out the horror. His entire journey to this point flashed before him. He had always wanted to serve his country with honor. Growing up in a small Nebraska town, he had admired the disciplined life of the military and often dreamed of wearing the uniform of the United States Marine Corps. He wasn't the first in his family to have such aspirations. His grandfather had fought in World War II, and his father was a Vietnam War veteran. Stories of bravery and sacrifice had inspired him from a young age, shaping his own path to service. As a child, Miller was very disciplined and focused. His room was always spotless, and he completed his school assignments carefully. In high school, he joined the Junior Reserve Officer Training Corps, or JROTC, where he learned about military life and developed a strong desire to serve his country. After graduating, he enlisted in the Marines to continue his family's tradition of military service. Although his mother was proud, she worried about the risks he might face. His father, however, fully supported his choice and understood his passion. When Miller left for boot camp, it was a day of mixed emotions, with tears of both pride and worry. Boot camp was a life-changing experience for Miller. The tough physical mental challenges made him a disciplined and strong Marine. Each day tested his endurance. From early morning drills to late night study sessions, he learned to use different weapons, practiced hand-to-hand -hand combat, and saw the value of teamwork and support among fellow Marines. His instructors admired his attention to detail and a strong sense of duty, traits he hoped would help him handle important assignments in the future. Miller was determined to be the best, and his early career was marked by awards that reflected his commitment and skill. Miller's early career was marked by a series of awards and promotions. One day, while sitting on his bunk, Miller was called to the commander's office. He knew it was about an assignment and quickly went to see him, his mind racing with possibilities. Would he be sent to a remote jungle or back to the desert? Having been on so many different assignments, he thought nothing would surprise him. However, he was completely wrong. What he was about to hear made him want to shout with excitement. The commander, as serious as ever, looked Miller over and cleared his throat. Then, without much delay, he informed Miller that he was needed to assist the commander-in-chief with security. At first, Miller's mind raced, trying to understand the full implications of his assignment. Gradually, the details began to fit together, and he struggled to contain his excitement. The commander continued with the briefing, explaining that Miller would be required to stand guard at Joint Base Andrews in Germany during the G20 summit, where the president would be attending. Being chosen for this duty was a tremendous honor, demanding not only impeccable military discipline, but also the highest level of trust and responsibility. For Miller, this was the realization of a long-held dream. The process for getting this prestigious assignment was thorough and demanding. Miller had to go through several evaluations, including tests of his physical fitness, psychological assessments, and detailed background checks. His excellent service record and the awards he had received were crucial in his selection. When he got the official notice, Miller felt a great sense of pride and responsibility. He knew this honor was not just for him, but for his family as well. As soon as he got permission to share the news, he called home. He could hear the pride in his father's voice when he talked about Miller's achievement. For Miller, it meant everything. His mother was both extremely proud and anxious, knowing that such a high-profile assignment came with high risks. She also worried about her son's safety, though she had no idea what was coming. The day was clear, but the wind was unusually strong at Joint Base Andrews, where Marine One awaited the President's arrival. The sound of Air Force One warming up added to the sense of anticipation. They were just waiting for the president's car escort to arrive so he could be taken up to the plane for his flight home. Miller's job was to ensure the president's safety. 
The weather that day was challenging, with strong winds sweeping across the tarmac, making everyone uneasy. However, Miller stayed focused. He was determined not to let the wind distract him, or so he thought. The jet black cars with their darkened windows arrived swiftly at the plane. First, the president's personal security team emerged, followed closely by the president himself. Miller felt a tightness in his chest as he stood at attention, as if this was the most important moment of his life. As President Trump chatted with his aide, the strong gusts of wind tossed them about, making their approach to the plane difficult. Miller kept his gaze fixed straight ahead, bracing himself for the president's passing. Suddenly, the worst possible thing happened. Miller's hat was ripped off his head by the wind and fell onto the ground right in the president's path. He couldn't move, as any action might be seen as disrespectful or a breach of protocol. Yet standing there with part of his uniform missing was equally unacceptable, especially with the hat lying directly in the president's way. Miller wished he could disappear from the sheer embarrassment, but forced himself to remain perfectly still, his demeanor as disciplined as ever. He braced himself for a reprimand, or disapproving looks at least. That's what he feared would happen. The reaction Miller received was completely unexpected. As soon as President Trump noticed the hat on the ground, he stepped away from his entourage and bent down to pick it up. And with a warm smile, he placed the hat back on Miller's head and gave him a reassuring pat on the arm. Miller was astonished by this gesture. Instead of the reprimand he had feared, he received kindness and encouragement. It was a moment he had never imagined. Despite his surprise, Miller continued to stand at attention, determined to fulfill his duty. But the wind had other ideas. Almost immediately, the hat was blown off his head again. Miller's instincts kicked in. He wished he could have moved to catch it and avoid further embarrassment. However, he was unable to do so. The hat tumbled across the floor and ended up at President Trump's feet. Miller held his breath, hoping the president's earlier kindness would be repeated. Undeterred by the repeated mishap, President Trump made a second attempt to retrieve the hat. To Miller's amazement, the president seemed to genuinely enjoy the pursuit, almost like a child trying to catch a butterfly. Miller was overwhelmed with disbelief. Why would the president go to such lengths for him, a mere Marine? After a third attempt to catch the hat amid the gusty wind, Trump finally succeeded. This time, he handed the hat to a nearby military official rather than returning it himself. The official promptly returned the hat to Miller, placing it securely back on his head. The president gave Miller a reassuring smile before heading up the stairs into the plane, followed closely by the military official, who also offered a nod of reassurance. For Miller, this moment was profoundly meaningful. Despite feeling that he had failed in his duties, he experienced an interaction he had never imagined. The unexpected kindness from the president, who often appeared surrounded by formality and protocol, was deeply touching. As if the initial surprise of the event wasn't enough, the situation took an unexpected turn that evening when he returned home. It turned out that someone had captured the entire incident on camera, and the footage quickly gained traction online. The video, featuring President Trump's actions, spread rapidly across social media platforms and news channels. Media outlets seized on the moment, emphasizing the president's uncharacteristically personal and spontaneous gesture. The Courage noted that such direct and unguarded actions from a sitting president were exceptionally rare. Analysts and commentators weighed in, offering diverse perspectives. Some lauded Trump for his relatable and down-to-earth behavior, while others speculated that the gesture might have been a carefully orchestrated move to enhance his public image. Despite the mixed reactions, there was a broad consensus that the incident had served to humanize the president, revealing a more personal side to him that is seldom seen in the public eye. In the days that followed, Miller found himself reflecting on the incident with a blend of pride and humility. He was inundated with messages of support from family, friends, and fellow Marines, each one acknowledging his role in the now famous event. His commanding officers reached out to commend him for his exemplary composure and professionalism during the unusual encounter. What are your thoughts on this extraordinary story? Share your thoughts on this heartwarming tale in the comments below, and don't forget to show your support by liking and subscribing for more captivating stories.